Hey guys, Jillian Kaplan here from JillianKaplan.com and I wanted to come to you and chat with you a little bit about um, the beginning of my postpartum fitness journey. Um, so I gave birth um, about two weeks ago, it'll be two weeks tomorrow, and in total transparency, I was really good eating pretty much my entire pregnancy until I hit about 36 weeks. And I started to have um, some issues and testing that came back, not great. Um, I was diagnosed, I had a breach, um, which I was actually able to flip the baby and ended up with a C-section anyway for other reasons. Um, then I got diagnosed with um, strep B, which isn't a huge deal, but it was just like another thing. Um, and it meant I had to be on antibiotics during labor. And I got diagnosed with polyhydramnios, um, which is something that means you have too much um, fluid in your, um, like your amniotic fluid is too high. And it can mean nothing or it can mean like a chromosomal issue or a late onset gestational diabetes. Um, and they didn't know what it was. So that was really freaky. And I started to like stress eat because I'm human and I'm a former binge eater and diet pill addict and yo-yo dieter. And that was really, really hard for me. Um, so I stress ate for, you know, the last month of my pregnancy. And then the past two weeks have just been like survival mode um, for me and my husband and the baby. And I am not cleared for exercise yet, so no one freak out that I'm gonna be starting exercise or intense exercise two weeks postpartum. Um, but I did talk to my doctor and midwife and they said it probably won't be the full six weeks for me because um, I was so fit and working out until two days before I gave birth, literally. So, um, you know, that part is good. Hopefully I'll be able to, you know, stay, um, stay fit. So for now I'm just walking a lot, but tomorrow, um, uh, me and four other ladies. So there are five of us, which is kind of what I wanted to keep the group to a very small group of us are starting, um, our journey together. And for me, I'm starting over for some of them. It's a start over for some of them. It's a first time start, but, um, Basically, the four of us are going to, or the five of us are going to be working very closely together, following the same um, fitness and nutrition plans. Like I said, I have not been cleared for full workouts yet. I hope to get cleared on Tuesday, but for now, I'm going to be walking. But the nutrition is really important, and I'm not going to be starving myself. I'm going to make making sure that I'm eating enough to keep up with my breastfeeding because I am pumping and breastfeeding. And um, I just need to be eating better foods, right? Like I don't need to be eating, um, popcorn and, you know, bread and, you know, other crap all the time for my calories. I need to be eating whole foods, you know, lean proteins, um, healthy carbs, like oatmeal, yogurts, um, fruits, you know, that kind of stuff, healthy fats, avocados, cheeses, hummus, that stuff that's going to really help keep me full and satisfied. And obviously, like I said, make it so that I am producing enough to feed my baby. So um, that is what I wanted to share with you, kind of about, you know, my starting over journey. And I know how hard it can be, you know, like I am starting, um, I was about 145 pounds um, at my fittest right before I got pregnant. And I got up to about 190 pounds um, pregnant. I actually got up like to 195 and then I lost five pounds in the last month, which is weird because that was a month I was eating a bunch of crap. I don't totally understand that. But um, so I, I gained about 50 pounds, 45 pounds in the end in my pregnancy. Um, and I'm down like 10 pounds, that's it. Like pretty much the weight of the baby. She was eight, five. And so I'm ready, like I'm ready to get back on track. And you know, 80% of weight loss comes from what you eat. So I can definitely get back on track even though I'm not cleared for exercise. And you can definitely get back on track and you know, produce enough breast milk for your baby. All these things are totally possible. Um, I always say, don't count your calories, make your calories count. So we're gonna be eating whole foods in the right portions, the right amounts of carbs, fats, proteins, fruits, vegetables, all coming together to make it so that we have a healthy, lifelong 
journey because this really isn't about a quick fix. And if you want a quick fix or you want a pill or you want to wrap yourself, I always tell people don't come to me. I can't help you with that. What I can help you with is changing your habits and creating a lifelong healthy fit life. Um, so I'm really excited to be working with these um, four other ladies that it's just kind of this small group. That was really my goal in this. I said I was going to limit it to five people um, because I want to be working with these people one-on-one -on -one, and I personally need the accountability. So I may um, do this again in November. We'll see kind of how this group goes, but so far I'm loving it. There's a lot of interaction, a lot of chatting. Um, it's so nice, especially for like us moms to kind of bond together and support each other because we all know how busy you are as a mom, as a new, as a new mom. Um, so yeah, so um, I hope you guys have a great rest of your Sunday evening. I'm really excited to share this postpartum journey with you. I hope to be able to come to you live a couple times a week and kind of share how things are going and um, yeah we start off with our first program tomorrow so um, I will chat with you all later bye